In this video, we're going to take a look at using origin code in BGP to influence um, traffic or path selection. Um, admittedly, this is not an attribute that is used often to do the you know manipulation. Usually, you would use AS path or uh, local pref or something else. Um, but let's say in our route that the weight local preference and AS path are the same. The next thing that the best path selection uses is origin code. So let's take a look at our six and see what the current state of the network is. So we're really going to be focusing on this route here, the 10 0 12 0 route, and specifically how our six um, gets there. So we can see here that the route to R5 is currently preferred. Um, and both of these routes from five and four have this I here. That is our origin code. Um, we can take a look in the specific prefix, IP BGP 10, 0, 12, 0, 24. And we can see the origin is IGP, origin is IGP. Now, with our BGP attribute, we could either have IGP, EGP, which is rarely used anymore, um, considering that everyone uses BGP instead of EGP, um, or incomplete, which would show up as a question mark. Now, IGP is preferred over EGP, which is preferred over um, incomplete. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a route map to influence R6's routing. And the way we're going to do it is, let me get my pen back out, the route to 10.0.12. Currently, we are, uh, did I say we're going over 5? Hold on, let me scroll back up a little bit. Currently, we're going to 5. So let's make some changes so that the route from R6 goes to R4 to get to it instead of R5. Now... We know that the origin code of I is preferred over incomplete, which is a question mark. So what we're going to do is on the traffic or on the routing advertisement over to five, we're going to set the question mark or incomplete as the origin code. And then we'll leave the route to uh, the route advertisement to R4 the same. So what we're doing here is we're making this route worse, less preferred, causing R6 to go to R4. Now, one of the reasons this is not used is because if I'm R6, I could easily just set my local preference and kind of override this behavior, but such is BGP. So let's go to R2 and let's create a route map. We'll call the route map origin and we'll permit 10. Now what we could do here is we could set the origin for IGP or incomplete. So you could see that this router actually doesn't even give us the option to do EGP for the origin code. So um, Let's just set the origin code to incomplete, and that'll be it. Whoops, um, exit. And then we'll just set the route map. Um, well, actually that's it. That's, we only need one route map statement because we're gonna do this blanket. Uh, we could use a prefix list or an access list to match um, this prefix, but we're just gonna you know, make it simple and just show you how to, how to use the origin code. So, router bgp2 the neighbor that we're going to is again is r5 so it's 10 0 25.5 and we're going to set the route map to origin and out because again this is the outbound advertisement so we're going to send that out now let's clear ibpgp out just to speed this along a little bit so let's head back to r6 and take a look at our route. So we could see already that some things changed and that's 
when I look at this prefix, from five, we have origin of incomplete, while origin is IGP still from four. So let's go ahead and show IPBGP, and we could see our question mark, which is over here on the right on the path from five, where the path from four is still I for internal. Therefore, the path from four is now the best path. So let's go ahead and prove that with a trace. 0, 12, 2. And sure enough, we're going to 4, then to 2. So this is how you use the origin code to influence inbound routing. Um, so inbound from R2's perspective. And again, not something you're probably going to use, but you never know. You could, you could, might, probably, I don't know, see this on the CCIE lab exam. Um, so I'll see you on the next one.